See? Oh, this is what you don't want. This is what you don't want. Hey, what's up? I'm Katie Bing, and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're not, thank you so much for being part of my family. talk a lot about animals and for those of you that do not know I'm a dog trainer I specialize in dog psychology and behavioral modification but we also we train everything <laughs> so we do a lot of puppies we do a lot of different types of dogs but today we're going to be talking about a very commonly asked question and I'm going to be breaking down some basic rules that will help you answer the question for yourself so Today we're talking about how to stop a dog from jumping on you. A very common question I get from dog owners is how do I stop my dog from jumping on me? Or how do I tell my dog when it's okay to jump up when I invite them, but they also need to get off? So there's two answers to this question. The first one is the basic how to just teach a dog not to jump. And the second one is to teach the dog the difference between when it's okay to jump up and when it's not okay to jump up. So. In order for you to understand how to keep a dog from jumping on you, I'm going to give you the number one rule that dogs live by. And the number one rule that dogs live by is that space is respect. Space equals respect. So what this means is when a dog's coming into your space, they're disrespecting you. And when you're moving away from a dog in your space, you're actually respecting them. You're giving, you're encouraging the behavior because you're giving them space. So anytime you give your dog space, think of you encouraging the behavior. I know a lot of people, when their dogs jump on them, their first instinct is to turn around or to back up, and that's actually the worst thing that you can do. This is because it's pretty much just as good as giving them a treat every single time they jump up, and it might even be more reinforcing than giving them a treat because you are playing with the psychology aspect of it, and you're giving them a lot of respect by backing up and really encouraging the behavior. So. If you're not supposed to turn around, if you're not supposed to back up, then what are you supposed to do? It's honestly pretty simple, but it's very easy said, and it has to, you gotta do it with the right energy to do it properly. So it's a lot easier said than done. That being said, when a dog jumps on you, the biggest thing you wanna keep in mind is you don't wanna give them space. Therefore, if they start jumping, what you're going to do is you're going to walk into their space. Now, if your dog is very sensitive, your dog's going to get down right away and that should be enough. You have to make sure that when you're walking forwards into their space or putting your knee up and kneeing back at them, that you are calm. You're not really like, no, 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 no. Because excitement leads to disregarding the rules. So you don't ever wanna match your dog's excitement. You wanna keep yourself calm when you're correcting them or telling them you don't want them to do something. You don't wanna to add to the intensity of the situation. That said, you wanna calmly walk into their space, calmly put your knee out, push them off of you. I like to use my legs just because when you're using your arms, you're getting closer to your dog. So what will happen is you're having your face go closer and it's very inviting and exciting to your dog because with dogs, eye contact is either an invitation or a confrontation. And when they love you, it's an invitation up. So I try to keep my face as far away from them as possible so that I'm not exciting them any more than they already are. And I'm using my legs to push them down. One thing that really sets the tone for if your dog jumps on you or doesn't jump on you is the state of mind that you encourage on a daily basis with your dog. A lot of times people don't understand that dogs are pack animals. So when you get them excited, it's really hard for them to calm down and listen. They're also instinctual beings. So that means that they react based on the current environment. They're not thinking through like, oh, last Thursday, my mom wanted me to sit down when everyone got excited. They're like, oh my gosh, you're excited. I'm excited. It's a party. They don't think about the logistics of what you did last week or what you emotionally want them to do. They're just living in the moment and they're reacting to your energy. When we're talking about excitement, a lot of people will correct their dogs without establishing what they expect from their dog when they do the correction. So what I mean by this is it's not fair to tell your dog, don't be excited if you never teach your dog how to be calm. So my favorite thing to work on the dog being calm is impulse control, a place command and decompressing in that place command doing a climb or a duration climb and then also structured walks so i'm gonna break down a little bit of this you'll see it right now my favorite thing to do at the door is a sit down stay i start to open the door every single time the dog starts to get up 
I'm closing the door and stopping the process. This teaches the dog how to control their brain because they start to understand that if they're rushing the process, the process isn't going to happen faster. You have to teach your dog that nothing happens that they want until they're calm and checked in with you. So the door exercise is a very, very beneficial way to practice this. Also, a place command is pretty much sit down, stay in your dog bed or wherever I tell you. And I like to do this and do a duration climb. So you first ask for a stay for about two to five seconds, and then you slowly build up until your dog is staying and relaxing as soon as they get on there because dogs are really big with associations. So if they understand place means, hey, decompress your brain, it really gives them the skills to calm down quickly every single time that you're telling them to calm down. It's like practicing when you don't need it so that by the time that you do need them to calm down and you ask them to, it's already second nature for them. So the biggest thing when it comes to dogs jumping is one, take up space. Me personally, when my dogs jump on me when I come home, my routine is they're jumping and I'm like, ah, go to place. They all go to place, decompress for 10 minutes. And as soon as I can feel that they're calm, I tell them break and then I love on them when they're calm. You really wanna be mindful of what you're setting the tone for on your day to day. Because if you're giving your dog all the love when they're excited, your dog's perspective is going to be, hey, if I get really excited, like a level 10 excitement, that's when I'm gonna get all the love from strangers and from everyone. So vice versa, if you teach the dog, hey, when you're calm, that's when you get all the love. When people come over, they're gonna go straight to being calm because that's how they're going to get the attention that they crave and want. For example, if you're giving your dog love when you come home and making it a big deal and then people come in, your dog's like, oh my God, it's a really big deal when people come in, I need to go crazy right now. And then your dog is going to be so excited because that's the way that they know they get the most attention. Honestly, the amount of behavioral change you'll see just by doing structured exercise once a day and by giving your dog affection at the right times is astronomical. It's crazy how much those two little things can make such a big difference. But I hope this video helped. Thank you to Ash the Cane Corso, Connie Corso, that helped me with this video. He's very big and very new and exciting. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope the visuals and demonstrations made sense to you. And if you have any questions, leave them down below. Also, if you have any dog training videos you'd like to see, just let me know because I would love to make them for you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.